Hey guys, it's Steve's Mods here, and today I am going to answer a question that I get a lot. And that question is, Steve, how do you unban your gay tag once it's been banned? Well, as you can see at the minute, uh, the JTAG is turned on. Um, I proved that it is a JTAG. There's the XX menu 1.2. Only JTAGs will allow you to install that because it's a homebrew app. Um, as you can see, I am actually on the JTAG now. But uh, However, if I go into network settings and then test my Xbox Live connection, this is what happens. See my Xbox, while well, my JTAG connects to the internet, absolutely fine. But then the communication to from the internet to Xbox Live from a JTAG is banned. That's it, console banned. Thanks Microsoft, you're now going to make me pay to get myself unbanned. Right, the next step for this tutorial is on the PC, so I'll meet you guys there. Right guys, now we're back on, well, we're on our PC. Um, I've just bought a KV off a KV seller. I'll share his details with you. You could go and buy a KV if you have a JTAG off him. He does a KV for $7.50, two KVs for $14, three KVs for $21, and four KVs for $28. Basically, his site is here in his Skype about. Um, all you have to do is just purchase and then once the payment's gone through it will give you a download link for the KV and this is the file that you will get but it will be a RAR but I've extracted it already um, for you guys that don't know what a KV is it is basically stored into your NAND in your 360 and your NAND is, if you look at it, as a hard drive on your PC. So if we go into the hard drive on our PC, there is hidden files on the 360, which is like the program files on our PCs. So we can see everything that's going on inside our PC, where everything's installed but in a 360 you can't but a JTAG you can I know that sounds a bit confusing but it's just how it goes right so we will check to see if we have bought a legit KV I'm hoping that we have we'll drag the KV.bin into our checker we'll close that down we'll go back and open up the checker and this will check all the files to check to see if the KV is banned or unbanned. And as you can see, it is unbanned. Right. And now we shall open up Xbox 360 Neighborhood. Right, it's being a dick and it's not going to find my JTAG. And basically, you will grab the CPU. Yes, I know it can't connect. You'll grab the CPU and KV, however I should put the KV inside the checker. You'll put both these files into the root of your hard drive and that's where the JTAG will read it from. Anyways, well, I'll catch you back onto the JTAG. Right guys, now that we're back onto the JTAG, um, we shall see if we can get online. As you can see, it is showing up all the live icons and tiles. It's asking me to join Xbox Live. If we go and test our connection now, let's see what it says.
Right, that little notification there tells me that the connection to Xbox Live has been successful because that is my current server that I'm using. Yes, as you can see, I'm connected to Xbox Live. My console is running on the latest dashboard. And yeah, that's how you unban a JTAG for slash RGH. If any of you would like any of these tutorials, just please let me know and I'll try and make a video of it. Anyways, thanks. Peace. Smoke weed every day. Hold up,